had the privilege of being the staff person when Senator Maxine Horner and Representative Don Ross bought that bill before the legislature in order to raise awareness about the, the massacre, the 1921 Tulsa race riot. This was an area that was very well to do in 1920s. Doctors, lawyers, they had their own theaters, airplanes. These were Black Creek Indians who were literally sitting on an oil field. For that reason, they had a lot of income. The, the dollar circulated numerous times before it ever left the community. In fact, they were self-sustaining and they never spent money outside that community in the white community, and they were doing very good, and the white folks got jealous. So it was a plan to do something to Tulsa. They didn't know, to Greenwood, they didn't know what it was going to be, what the rumor was, tell your people if they're in Greenwood, they need to be gone by tomorrow because something's going to happen. Well, an incident that sparked the whole uh, situation involved a black guy who was on the elevator with a white woman. And when the doors opened, uh, she was in his arms. And for that reason, they pulled him out and wanted to lynch him. A white mob came and black folks assembled. There had been an, a lynching the day before in Holdenville, which is where I was born. And the black people in Tulsa said, not today. And that's what set off the, the massacre. There were members of the Ku Klux Klan in local government, on the local police force, the Army National Guard. They had Gatling guns sitting on the hillside, because there's this big hill that sits across from Greenwood, just shooting people down in the streets. You know, two, three days later, over 300 blacks are dead. Uh, supposedly there was a mass grave somewhere. The town, the area was burned to the ground. A lot of black folks fled for their lives. At the end of the day, it turns out that the black guy and the white woman were seeing each other, were dating. And somebody ran into them in Chicago and they had literally gotten married. The Tulsa race riot literally boiled down to a black man and a white woman being in love. Even though there was a plan to burn down that section of town because of jealousy. For years, I believe the reason it, it wasn't talked about is that both the black folks and the white folks were ashamed. I think the black folks were ashamed that they were caught off guard and, and the white folks were ashamed that they did it. Um, maybe there's even an element of fear among the black folks in Tulsa because I think vestiges of that reality still exist to this day. I think it comes out again in these uh, police encounters where black people are just being shot with no regard. We've got to figure out solutions to make sure that everybody goes home or that nobody dies as a result of a police encounter with a with a black person.